All right, I'm going to cut the sides of the drawer out of three-quarter inch plywood. I'm going to cut two 12-inch, and two are going to be about eight-inch, but I'm going to go ahead and go a little bit long just so I can cut that down later to make sure it's perfect. All right, I don't have a jointer, so I have this jointer jig to make sure our three boards are straight, have nice clean edges. I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna make sure it's nice and squared up. Looks pretty good. This part actually doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, but as close to square is good. Then I'll clamp my board down. Straight, it's just gonna cut off a little sliver there. Here we go. All right, what I'm gonna do now is for all four of the legs on the bottom is make a tapered edge. Just to make it a little fancier, it's an unnecessary step, but I thought it would look cool. So what I'm gonna do is measure an inch and a quarter from the bottom, and then from the side, I'm gonna measure a quarter inch. And so I'll cut that little section off right there on the bottom of the leg. And so that will be the inside of the leg. Say this is the left front leg. And then on the side of the leg, I'm also going to, on the inside, cut it off. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is attach the top 
to the end table. Uh, I could have used pocket holes in there, and that's what I've used in the past, but I'm gonna try something different this time. I'm gonna use these Z clips. And how these work is we'll router a little slot in the side here, and the Z clip will pop in there, and then you'll have a screw that comes up from the bottom of the clip to the bottom of the uh, tabletop. Next thing I'm going to do is put in crossbars to give it that farmhouse look. So what I've done here is just clamped it and got it lined up, just kind of eyeball to the top there. I'm going to come back from the back side here and draw a line right along the leg to get my angles. Alright, so I got them all cut in there like I want it. Uh, it's not absolutely perfect, there's a little gap here, but I already did the other side and I just took some glue and sawdust and put that in the little cracks there. I'm going to sand that off a little bit later and it looks pretty good. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to glue it together and then with my brad nailer, come in from the inside at an angle, put a little brad nail in there to help secure it, keep it a little bit stronger while the glue dries. Okay, while I let the glue dry on the rest of the piece, I'm going to go ahead and uh, treat stain the top. And uh, I've done this once before and it turned out really good. What I did was I put a pre-stain on there, you let that dry a few minutes, and then I did uh, two coats of this Jacobian stain, and then I put on three coats of poly. That came out really good, so I'm hoping for the same results on this piece.